We are at the Barnsley Metrodome for Weber Cup 14. It's the Ryder Cup of Tempin with the Americans against the Europeans. Team USA started their campaign well, winning five matches in a row and still hold a convincing lead 7-4. Coming up next, it's the last doubles match of the session. Playing for Team Europe, Dom Barrett and team captain Mika Koivinyemi. Dominic is a great, great guy. I remember when he first came for the Weber Cup and he was young tall indeed. Now he has much more experience and he's going to be a great star in the future of the sport. Mika has you know, a vast amount of experience and he's getting on a bit himself so he's uh, definitely a good captain for us to try and a fairly young team really in, in Stuart Martin and I so having him as the head of the team is going to be very important and we're really looking forward to him leading us to victory. Team USA, you better be ready for us. The American contenders are four-time PBA winner Bill O'Neill and Mr. 300 Tommy Jones. Bill O'Neill's, uh, you know, he's been a, a really good friend of mine. Bowling-wise, all he's, you know, he's one of the best. He's won the U.S. Open, and uh, you don't win the U.S. Open by fluke. Tommy is a guy that has become one of my best friends the last uh, three or four years or so. He's, he's a great guy. He's, uh, he's someone that's. That's, that's taught me a lot about the game and a, and a lot about uh, life. So uh, again, to, to bowl with him too is, is, uh, is something great. My message for Team Europe is you're not going to win. Our final match of the afternoon session, it's a double match. And representing Team Europe, Don Barrett and Mika Koivinyemi. Representing Team USA, Bill O'Neill and Tommy Jones. Now we're looking forward to seeing you guys go head to head because last night I had Tommy on this stage and he said, yeah, Dom's been giving it a lot of chat backstage. That's right, isn't it, Tommy? It's been more than backstage, you know, I get the random text and, uh, you know, some, some people know that Dom and I are actually teammates back in, in the States and uh, in the PBA League, so uh, we're going to have to amend this in a couple of days, but for right now, I don't like him. <laughs> Dom, how much would you like to beat Tommy in this game? You know, it's pretty easy to start running your mouth off when you're leading 5-1, but it's getting a bit closer now. So we'll see how much they're going to be doing that when we're back to being level, which we're going to be after tonight. And, uh, and it's not just me who doesn't like Tommy right now. There's about 500 people in here that are quite happy to rip his guts out as well. That's quite violent of you, Dom. Um, anyway, thanks very much indeed. That's enough fighting talk for now, ladies and gentlemen. Tommy and Dom, you heard how much it means. Let's hand you over to our commentators, Cass Edwards and Andy Bodfish. Well, fighting talk indeed, and that's exactly what Europe needed. Something of that spirit after the disaster of the opening session. But they are right back in the mixer in the 888.com. Weber Cup. The final match of the second session at Weber Cup 14. Doubles. Don Barrett and Mika Kovinyemi. England and Finland against Bill O'Neill from Pennsylvania and Tommy Jones, the South Carolinan. Dom is up first. Messenger not and was let in. That 10 pin tumbled strike to open up for Europe. Yeah, first blood to Don Barrett. Great looking shot. Perfect down the lane. Hits his mark. It's a little bit of light on the head pin and the 10 pin goes. Last of all, little messenger gives it a nudge. Captain likes that one and it's high fives all round. Bowling first for the US, Bill O'Neill. 
strike for the US too. Yeah, nice looking shot. That will do Bill's confidence. Uh, a great deal of good. That's starting with a strike. So Scotch doubles. Don Barrett with a strike, meaning it's Mika to whom the baton passes next. in two bowls for Europe, there's the moose. Mika's already spared the 7-10 in this tournament. This ball leaves the 7-10, and then he knocks them both over, so you could say it's a 7-10 conversion yet again. There's a lot of flying wood around there, and it counts as a strike, and don't get in my way. <laughs> the moose is loving it. Jones back on, looking for 10. Can only no. make eight. No, he is human after all. Well, he, he rushed on a little bit, didn't it? Uh, leaves the two and the eight pin, what we call the sleeper, one right behind the other. Not the easiest of spares. Here comes his shot, he's moved left on the approach. He's given the ball some width. It looks good there, it doesn't make the pocket. It hasn't quite come up. No drive through the pins. And O'Neill has got a tricky little spare here. He has to make sure he covers that back pin. The eight pin right behind the two. And it's textbook. A perfect conversion. Yeah, well done, Bill. Under pressure. That was a super dispatch from Bill O'Neill. But early as it is, Europe just in the ascendancy in this final game of the session. Back to Dom. Two strikes out of two for Don Barrett. It's a turkey for Europe. Three for three. Profile of Don Barrett. Really high backswing, look at that. Deep knee bend, great long stride, holds the position. Just falls off the shot slightly on that, on that delivery, but it carries all ten pins, and he doesn't care. Bit of pressure on Tommy Jones here now. Uh, rises to it majestically. Yeah, deals with it with another strike. Gives uh, Bill O'Neill the next chance to stand up and shoot at 10 pins. Just 20 pins adrift at the moment. That's if they strike off. There's the maximum scores. And Europe still have a potential maximum. And it's a bit early days for that <laughs> now. Stop it. <laughs> Come on, Mika, give us another strike. Not that time. Got a break, didn't he, in uh, the second frame with that tumbling 10. Not there, though. Yeah, leaves a flat 10 pin in the corner. It's a spare for Don Barrett. Hard and fast, and straight across the lane. Tom takes the spare away, nicely. Tommy Jones with a strike last time out, so... It's Bill O'Neill next for the US. There's the fingers deep in the ball, then the thumb follows in. Looking for ten. Getting ten! Sweet as a nut, that. Yeah, it certainly was, Andy. Great looking shot, and it's two strikes in a row for the Americans who are coming back. Confidence growing ball by ball. Profile of Bill O'Neill, front and side. Long, long slide. Just a few inches away from the foul line, but that's OK. Holds the balance and follows through nicely. Frame five. Mika Koivinyemi. Europe skipper ah, broke very, very early on the approach and leaves the two standing for the spare there. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed with Mikri, he doesn't quite get to the foul line. He's a good four or five inches short of the foul line. And consequently, this ball is uh, ridden up. I mean, it's not a critical uh, thing, it's uh, something he, he just does, but this ball's ridden up high on the head pin. It's left the uh, three and the six, which is a very makeable spare for Don Barrett. 
Nicely done. Sweeping up operation there from Don Barrett. Yeah, but it was two spares in a row. And that needs to stop. If these guys uh, want to win this game, they've got to start stringing a few strikes together. As we know they can do. Yeah, just talking amongst themselves about the difference in the the line that they're playing and the reaction they're getting in the back end. Once they come off that oil at about 43 feet. Sitting on a double currently, the US make that three in a row. And yes, they maintain their lead. With, uh, three strikes in a row and that's the situation here at the halfway stage.